Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and today we will be looking at the AKD Basic and Position Capture. Sometimes an event takes place very fast, and we need to capture that position to use in our application. This usually happens during events like high-speed homing or indexing to a registration mark. During high speeds, a switch is closed and the position at the time of the closure needs to be captured. A simple program has been set up to capture the motor's position when a trigger comes in on digital input 1. The following parameters are used to set up the trigger. Cap0.trigger equals 0 will set the digital input to 1 to the trigger source. Cap0.edge equals 1 will trigger on the rising edge or positive transition. Cap0.mode equals 0 will capture the standard position in the drive units. Cap0.enable equals 1 will arm the capture system. At this point the system is commanded to run at 2000 RPM. When digital input 1 is cycled, transition low to high, the command drive stop will be given. The system will decelerate to a stop at a slow deceleration rate. The position at the time a trigger is captured is cap0.plfb. The distance traveled during deceleration can be calculated by subtracting the captured position from the current position. To move back to the captured position, we can make an absolute move. The target position will be equal to the capture position. Once we have the capture position, there is a lot we can do with it. By changing the feedback source, we can capture an external feedback position. By changing the capture mode, we can capture the drive's internal time or the network's distributed clock time. I'm Gordon Ritchie. Please join us in our next video.